And we have a new report from our special envoy to Ukraine, Alejandro Kierk, including an interview with the vice president of the Donetsk Federation of Trade Unions, Elena Alexandrovna, who provides an insight on how enterprises are facing the current conflict. Go ahead, Alexandra. One of the issues at stake in the war launched by the Ukraine against the People's Republics of uh, the Donbass eight years ago is social and workers' rights. Uh, we spoke with the vice president of the trade unions of the Donetsk People's Republic, um, Elena Alexandrovna, and this is what she said to us. Now, of course, enterprises are experiencing an acute shortage of personnel due to the fact that people have been mobilized. But still, everything possible is being done to ensure that our enterprises do not stop, that our companies continue to work, and that the economic potential of the Donetsk People's Republic is preserved. They all keep their salaries to support their families who have stayed here. All our current legislation such as the law on wages, the law on permits, the law on health and safety, the law on education, the law on health services, they all contain the safeguards that people used to have in more or less peaceful times when there was not such a tense situation. People came to us from Ukraine, from the territory of Donbass, temporarily under the control of Ukraine, and underwent medical treatment here. Applicants from Ukraine study for free in our universities. Yelena Alexandrovna, trade union leader of Donetsk. In another development, uh, the leader of this republic, uh, Denis Pushilin, today said that uh, a second phase of the uh, military operation would have to take into account Transnistria. I, I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, a breakaway republic next to Moldova and which is claimed by both Moldova and Romania. Uh, explosions have been taking place, uh, a radio station transmitting uh, Russian radio reports have been destroyed, um, a bomb exploded in front of the Ministry of Internal Security and other attacks have been registered since over the weekend uh, in that republic. So uh, days ago uh, it has been said here that the uh, military operation cannot stop until Transnistria and other regions of southern Ukraine are liberated from the Ukrainian uh, Maidan regime. So that means um, another uh, escalation of this conflict in the upcoming weeks. Thank you, Alejandro, for this report, and we hope.